All right, uh, let's see. I am... I Unfortunately, whenever I start playing this game, I feel like I'm extra tired for reasons. Today, it's because I spent much of this afternoon editing and rendering, like, another 30-something videos. Conventions are... Conventions are a, uh... A necessary evil for my business. I guess I don't actually need to go to them, but I certainly enjoy them. Let's see. But, so, uh, PAX, PAX West is happening in a, a week from today. And I'm excited, I'm excited for it, obviously. Let's see, is there any other gold? I don't think there's any other gold in that mix. Let's see. I'm just gonna stand here and defend myself. Okay, go from here. Ow. I did not defend well enough. Anyway! Uh, but yeah, so... Getting a ton of videos set up and rendered and ready to go. I've got some series that straight up are queued up until like mid-September. It's so nice. Uh, for people that don't know on YouTube, I, I've been trying to queue up all of my videos so far in advance that I won't have to like... Some days I won't even have to log into YouTube to manage anything. I'll just like look at comments and be like, Cool! And found nothing. Okay, I guess I should break this. I don't think you find anything by breaking a, uh... Let's see. I don't think you find anything by breaking a, uh, skeleton. Just peeping, but I could be wrong. Okay. Ow. Worth it, but ow. Oh, I totally forgot to, uh... I totally forgot to to grab some things along the way. Oh well, that's fine. And thank you, Verisoc, for the 500 bits and then the 500 bits yesterday that I probably totally forgot to thank you for. I don't know. I'm not on. I'm not on on my A game this week. I'm not going to be on my A game until uh, oh jeez, I'm probably going to say after September 10th. Then I'll probably go back to being normal. Uh, let's see, because I am, I am a, I am a busy person. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let's see, there's two other things that I was going to do while I'm mildly not terribly distracted. I am sorry. This goes along with the whole thing about not being, uh, not being on the ball today. Okay, back on the ball, let's keep going. I'm gonna try. Let's see, did I lose the anti-spike boots in the pool? No, uh, so, I asked the developer about it, um... And he said that once you craft something with the uh, with the blacksmith, it actually gets permanently added to the item pool. Let's see. Uh, so what that specifically means is that, uh, say now that I've crafted those those uh, anti spike boots, there's a t chance. Uh, I don't know what the chance obviously is. I don't know how big the item pools are. Uh, Let's see. Hello? Toughness would be interesting, but let's get balance. And we get minor frailty. I'll take it. And four keys right off the bat. Yeah, that key ring is nice. I actually totally forgot I had all those keys. I was like, do I have enough? I hope I do. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was I going to say? Right. Back to back to talking about life being normal. Uh, so yeah, I, obviously I've got packs. I've got to prep for that. And then immediately after we get packs, I'm pretty much scheduling myself to get very sick for about a couple of days. I'm not actually sure if it's going to happen, but, you know, you always got to plan for the con plague whenever you go... Uh, let's see, I'm going to look around very quickly for secrets, because I didn't... I wasn't very thorough there. Let's see, I'm not seeing sparkles in this chamber. Or this one. I didn't see any of the other ones. I don't think... I also only have one bomb. It should be fine. Anyway, let's go down. I'll try and be head in the game. Um, and then after the sickness period, I'm going to get back. I'm going to have a boatload of games coming out uh, that I'm going to have to obviously manage uh, from, like, Greedfall to a bunch... Oh, right, right, right. Nope! Well, I guess I smacked the correct skeleton here. I was like, no, my skeleton loot. And the answer is no. 
Did you read them first? I'm sorry, sign. Ooh, amulet. Deal more damage uh, per swing and high health. That should be fine. See, how do you get rid of the blue crystal blocking the entrances to some rooms? Uh, there's a bomb upgrade that lets you blast them. Uh. Okay. I'm just gonna go for the slimes first. Wow! I really do a lot more damage along the way. Okay, so what do we got? Bag of bombs, full of bombs. Uh, yeah, let's buy a bunch of bombs. I don't think we're gonna need the rest. Nitroglycerin is just concerning. Let's see, wait, are you straight up planning Con Plague into your schedule? Yep. I... I... might as well? Like... My best option is to plan for Con Plague, and if it doesn't happen, then I effectively get an extra 10 days off. Ooh. Choose. So, extra healing, extra throw damage. I gotta go for the extra throw damage. And that was a blessing without attachments, so I don't have to worry about getting uh, extra curses. Oh, there's golden. There's golden in their walls. Uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, so if it turns out that I... If it turns out that I, I don't get sick after packs, that means, yeah, I straight up just have... I gotta turn Steam's Do Not Disturb on. Uh, how do I do that again? Oh, right. It's under this. Do not disturb. Thank you. Because I don't, I don't need to see a notification saying so-and-so is playing Remnant from the Ashes. It's not that important. Because I don't really... Uh, I don't... I honestly probably should just call my friends list or something like that. Or I don't know. Anyway. Let's see. Still learning. What happens at PAX? Uh, so PAX is Penny Arcade Express. It's one of the... There's a couple of different gaming conventions in the U.S. every year. Uh... PAX is one of them. Uh, it's the one that I like to go to very specifically. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Mainly because uh, PAX is a little bit more... How would I say it? It's a little bit more indie friendly than, say, like E3. Though E3 is definitely getting more indie friendly over the past... Uh, has gotten more indie friendly over the past couple of years. Uh, so who knows? Uh, but so effectively it's it's just one of the big gaming conventions. Happens technically three times a year, four if you count Australia. I think there's also like PAX Unplugged and a couple other things. Uh, but effectively you go to a big expo hall. Uh, the one that I'm going to is up in Seattle. And, uh, and you... You go around looking at booths. A bunch of indie devs will have their stuff up there, and uh, and they'll they'll be trying to like show off, like, "Hey, by the way, our game's cool. Please, please buy it." And you know, I guess in my case, it's, "Hey, our game's cool. Please cover it so that other people will buy it." But yeah, same thing. And so, uh, and so I like to go to the the uh, the version of PAX in. Boston, because that's where my family lives, and also in uh, in Seattle, because that's three hours north of me, which is very, very easy to reach. Uh, let's see, I'm not seeing a whole lot else here. Did he just get rid of his blessing with a talisman, or am I just confused? Nope, that's exactly it. Okay. And do we grab the fish? Yeah, the fish is on sale anyway. We might as well. It'll heal heal me up. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so it's a it's a four day convention lasting from Friday. I it depends on which PAX you go to. The PAX East goes from Friday, or no Thursday to Sunday, and the uh, PAX West that I'm going to goes from. Uh, it goes from Friday to Monday. That makes sense. Hello. Simple chest overstocks the shop. That should be fun. 
Now, it had a purple outline. I was worried that it was going to curse me, but that's not the case. There was some gold in the walls that you missed. Yeah, I mean, that's inevitable. I don't re I will admit, I don't really need to be told that it's like I've missed stuff. Uh, I'm sure that's going to happen, but it's like, it's a small amount of gold. It's not going to tank the run. And if it does, then so be it. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we actually want to pop that, probably. But no, I, I prefer people not inform me of how much, uh, how much, uh, gold I've missed along the way, because I know I'm going to have missed stuff, and, uh, it's going to get super onerous if everybody is, if everybody is telling me, just like, you missed gold in that wall, uh, I, I have some comments we can go back and actually even take a look at, aha! There's a secret right at there. Now that sparkle in the wall there, that's the kind of thing that you might want to keep an eye out for because that's the one thing uh, that is truly worth it. Okay, penance, hardiness, or toughness. Let's grab a hardiness. Take more damage. But yeah, I, I totally respect that people want to help me. It's just one of those where it's like, it really... It really messes with my, my flow and my like ability to play well. If I'm constantly having people being like, you missed gold there! Because then I have to like backtrack and be like, okay, which which room are they talking about? You know, were they were they even paying attention? Because sometimes people are just like, you missed gold in that room! And then I didn't, but they just said that, and then I have to like go back and deal with it. What was it the other day? I don't even remember which game it was, but somebody was de definitively saying like, you missed a secret over there! And then just totally pieced out of chat and never, like, chimed back in to explain why. Um, uh, why or how or where or anything like that. And so I spent, like, I think it was easily, like, five or six minutes being like, Okay, so where's this thing you're talking about? And then realized, oh, yeah, they're just gone. And we're probably just making shit up. Or maybe they did think they saw something, I don't know. But, like, I would rather, I would rather miss out on, like, a little bit of gold than have to deal with that. And I'd rather not have everybody like telling me constantly because I think I was telling the story last time. I don't actually know if I finished the story, but I, I used to watch a lot of Northern Lion back in the day. And a lot of the comments that I would see on his videos were like, oh my God, how did you miss that, uh, that, that tinted rock? You know, how could you? And it's just like, I, <laughs> despite what people may think, there's a lot to pay attention to when you're playing this, and since I'm not, uh, since I'm actually doing live commentary for this, faster swing speed? Nah, let's do penance. Because I'm doing live commentary for this game, I don't want to, like, slow down too much or, like, pick over everything. I know there's a couple of, like, people that absolutely will go for, like, perfect plays, but I'm just here to be, like, mostly adequate. And then generally entertaining. And anything else is just going to be onerous. Mr. Tinted Rock Heresy. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So the shop is overstocked. I'm gonna... I'm gonna load up. I realized somebody was like, No, you want to save all your gold. But, like, the further down you get, the more money you get. So I'm just gonna try and hoard as much as I can. Let's see. Do we have anything else? We found two secret rooms on this floor, which is kind of fun. You know, they actually paid out really well, too, because those extra bombs may, uh, make a difference. I'm just I'm just really hoping that I can beat the, the golem boss today. Or we could just, like, load up on curses and go from there. Ah, dang. Sometimes I can hit that guy. I'm not good at it. I love the burning pickaxe. Chuck it through fire. It, it's very satisfying. It's not the most reliable strategy, but it's very satisfying. Oop. Run. Now there's just a mysterious... Stone 
walled off area right there. Oh, popcorn. And now I can be very, ex uh, now I can be very wasteful with my money. I mean, not really. I, I probably shouldn't just squander it all, but it's still worth it. Yeah, stone donut. A stone it. Okay, so we can get a meal ticket. Another key. I got six keys, though. On one hand, it seems like it's in my best interest to just stock up on them like crazy. On the other hand... Oh, okay. There we go. Two can play at this game. I do appreciate that the monsters are absolute garbage at avoiding traps, too. It's nice. Okay, can't go down there. Huh. No, that's a good point. Uh, the art style of this game is really nice. Also, that the protagonist isn't sprite mirrored is cool, too. That... You know, I hadn't even noticed that, but that is actually really cool. Uh, so for people that uh, don't know, sprite mirroring is super common with uh, with 2D games, where say your character has like an arm cannon on one hand. Most games will straight up uh, just have the arm cannon. Uh, most games will straight up have the arm cannon. Just switch from left to right, uh, like the left hand or the right hand, depending on which angle you're viewing it from because it's so much easier to just like mirror the sprite as opposed to actually accounting for that uh, asymmetry on a character. Whoops! Ow. Bad rock. Bad rock. Bad mimic. Oh. Okay, we'll be okay. The food healing so much extra. That salt shaker made a difference. Found nothing. Get out of here, Bonesley. Let's see. Pretty certain that if you want to, you can challenge a boss again and get more blueprints. Uh, in my experience, no boss has ever spawned, so there might be some way to do it, but I don't know how. Uh, but yeah, so with this character, if you notice, his pickaxe is in. Interestingly enough, this character is a lefty, or at least he carries it lefty. But he always has that in his left hand. So when we're walking this way, it's in his left hand. And when we're walking this way, it's still in his left hand. So that they actually have different sprites for walking left and right. Uh, which most games don't do. Most, ga most games are just lazy because, you know, for the most part, no one cares. Everybody's used to it. But uh, Thorium actually... The guys at Thorium decided to actually make the sprite ow uh make the sprite actually properly uh you know reflects which direction it is anyway if i go down i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure there's no way to resummon this thing i would gladly refight the worm for more blueprints and money and stuff every single time we did a run but unless there's like a a switch or something and there very well might be. If there is some way of resummoning bosses, I would not mind refighting that worm boss on occasion. Especially for, like, money grind runs or something like that. But I I think they went with the no respawning bosses as a, uh... I'm not exactly going to say an homage. Uh, but that's how it worked in, um... Let's see. Do you grab... We'll grab the medium rare stake. That's how it worked in Rogue Legacy, and this game is pretty, uh, pretty on point when it, with, ah, with its inspiration from both Rogue Legacy and Binding of Isaac, which I actually really appreciate. I do hope they add more, like, synergistic effects on the upgrades, but still. Let's see. Found a fiction on Royal Road where the protagonist was a chess mimic. Of course there's a fiction for that. <laughs> I like Royal Road, but the quality is just so, so variable. Ow, I jumped. Oh, but I was on oil. Damn it. I, I'm not seeing anything else, and this place is clearly bad for my health, so let's just get out of here. Not there, though. But no, I've actually, 
uh, had to stop myself from reading just random fictions on that site. Very specifically, because a lot of them are very amateurish, and I realized that, like, I might as well just start writing my own books instead of sitting down, uh, to read. I think part of it is also I spend so much of my time, so much of my day, uh, consuming media, that I have this, like, kind of consistent need to, uh, this kind of consistent need to create something occasionally. Have you read Worm by chance? I've read parts of Worm. Uh, part of it is just the, uh, the writing is very, well, amateurish early on, and I find that hard to, hard to get through. It's very good. Like, if you, if you want to read a really good web serial, Worm is probably one of the best. Worm and, like, Mother of Learning. Um... I'm trying to think of other, like, particularly amazing ones. There's a, there's a couple, but those two are the ones that have stood out to me historically. But even though I haven't finished it, I will still probably tout it as one of the better ones. Key doubler would be interesting. I'm just gonna grab the steak, keep myself hale and hearty. Let's see, I don't have any curses, and we can pick up another balance curse. I am just going to do dang bitch. <sighs> it doesn't seem to increase my damage too much, which is a bit unfortunate. I was hoping it would be like a, a flat, like, three or something. Footmen are just like some of the most brainless enemies in this game. They're adorable. I'm getting a lot better at collecting that gold. Okay. We okay. Uh, let's see. So I've already opened this up. So even more damage when you crit. Now, is that only with melee, or... No, it's just even more damage with anything. Well, that's nice. I'm gonna kill that fly first. That was not worth it. I was really hoping I could kill both of them while they were next to each other. The answer is... Yeah, kinda. We Okay. A lot of money sitting around in this room. Okay, so they're gonna make it away with most of my money, but that's okay. Well, not most. Small bits. I probably should have been ma more patient and grabbed one or the other. Unfortunately, ah! Unfortunately, these statues are a lot harder to get around than just the regular gold rocks, but it's okay. Alright. That's the way out. Free bombs. And popcorn for days. So what am I even trying to save up for? I should probably start memorizing that a little bit. Oh, let's see. Anything else? Just whatever's in this room. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Do we drink? We drink. Keys are harder to come by than bombs, because they kind of expect you to use bombs from a combat perspective in this game. I never do. Same same general deal with, like, Binding of Isaac. I know you're supposed to use bombs for combat, but, like, I will just hoard 99 bombs and just never use them. 
because I'm a butt, and that's just how I roll. That's the reason why they're called footmen instead of brainmen for a reason. <laughs> no, you're entirely correct on that one. So you duplicate all basic items in the room. I like the idea of popcorn kernels, but I'm pretty sure that would only dupe that key. Hopefully we can get our hands on Ricochet here. Ah, damn it. Well, I have enough healing that I'm pretty much untouchable. And my range damage is pretty good, so I'm not... I don't know, I can take hits like that without too much... too much worry. Oh, there's... was there gold? No. Okay. Ah! That was an ambush footman and a half. He's still coming after me. Most of the footmen just stay, like, very freaking far away. That woman's just like, I'm coming for you. Well, it's fine. Thank you, Wildemarkid, for the 100 bits. How was your Friday afternoon? Hope it is nice and casual and your technology is nice and functional. Because I know mine is, and I'm very happy about that. Seriously, whenever I build a new computer, I have this, like, eternal fear. I think I just nicked the, uh, the gold off of that... that filcher. Like, I think I straight up chucked my pickaxe and grabbed it... grabbed it off the top of him. That's amazing. Not sure if I care too much for the Bramble Vest. I was hoping i get the one that increases my damage based on, um... Uh, based on, like, how many enemies I've killed. I'm also really just hoping we can get Ricochet and the Quick Throw. Both of those are insanely helpful. Okay. Was it? What am I? Where am I? Where is my brain? Where am I going? I don't know. I'm lost. I'm not. But still, do we? Yeah, let's penance. I mean, it's worth it, but ooh. Is he ready to go up to Vegas and help your cousins move? Exciting. Well, except for, except for the Vegas part. Vegas was always like hot as shit. Whenever I visit it, uh, whenever I visited it, something I never quite enjoyed. Okay, I do not like hot, hot cities, hot temperatures. It's getting up into the 90s next week, and I am, I am grumpy. This is not what I, this is not what I moved to Portland for. But then again. Uh, it's been, like, in the high 90s every single day back in Kansas, so I'm pretty fine with that. Uh, that I'm not there anymore. Oop. Eh. Okay. So, I could use some healing, probably, at this point. How much money do I have? I live in Southern California. It's not particularly bad in co comparison. Well, go figure. Southern California is real nice. Except for when the Santa Ana comes through. And then it gets pretty warm. But I remember it being like a nice dry warm. So it wasn't so bad. There we go. Okay, so let's buy the medium rare steak. How am I doing on consumables? I'm staying pretty even, so I'm... Pr oh, that's not the way down. I'm a dumbass. Well, wasted that one. He was crazy with temperature swings in general. Yeah. I... I mean... It's been a very mild summer here in Portland. Beats the hell out of 95 with forest fire and smoke like recent summers. That's a good point. I... I did not have to... Uh, I have yet to deal with any of the forest fires, which is good. We, we moved 
this past March. Uh, that that pit absolutely looked like a staircase down to my totally distracted brain. I whatever. <laughs> Like I said, I would rather make my mistakes on my own accord and just suffer the consequences because most of the time it's hilarious. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, then it's just the Drood. This is rude. There we go. Everything is good. We are good. We're alive and we get a free bomb. I like free bomb. Ow! Okay. Footman Frenzy, leave me alone. There we go. Well, at least spikes are as much of an impediment impediment to these little guys as they are to me. Okay, we gotta we gotta drink the tincture at this point. Hoarding it any further is gonna get me killed. I really need the strength serum. And these still pretty consistently don't drop anything. Let's see, I kind of hate watching Wander because even when he says he's doing badly, he seems to be doing better than I ever could. I... Self-deprecation is just part of my... I don't know. Part of how I operate. Uh, it also... I, I guess in my case... <laughs> you probably don't have a whole, whole legion of people uh, yelling at you for every mistake you ever make on the internet. Uh, I mean, you might. I hope not. This is not the kind of thing that I would normally wish upon anybody else. Um, but yeah, actually, I, I realize this is an old and dead topic, but it, it's still relevant to everything. Who is still alive? Oh, there's one of the little pot guys hiding behind the mini-map. Uh, that is kind of inconvenient. I almost kind of wish the, the map would disappear when you're in combat. That, that would certainly be a nice, like, option you could take. Because I've had similar issues with Binding of Isaac along the way. Anyway, uh, so Shell's been going through my uh, held for review comments on YouTube. Uh, for those of you that don't know, YouTube has a uh, has a system where they will specifically uh, tag comments that might be, you know, full of not so kosher comments. Most of the time, it puts them under spam, like the automatic things. But sometimes it'll be like, yeah, that comment's probably not on the up and up. And so we'll throw it in the under, uh, help for review, uh, tab. And effectively it says, like, you can, you can approve this comment, but, you know, that's on you. Uh, but until you do, nobody else will be able to see this comment. Honestly, I think it's a pretty good system, and for the most part, uh, what it does is it keeps people from, like, yelling vile stuff at, out loud. I'm just gonna let it get the gold and not let them snag the rest. Spend a key, get a cursed chest. I don't think it's worth it, but yeah, so Shell's been going through it, and she was saying that the vast majority truly were people uh, screaming at me for making mistakes in, in uh... Let's see, do we get penance hardiness? Let's get hardiness. Increases the cost of items, I'll take it. Uh, I wonder if that includes her. Do we even go... Do we go for her? We could. I'm not sure. But yeah, most of the, uh... Okay, so she's saying now it's the people that are yelling first, second, third, fourth. There's an item here, but I don't know how to get to it. I could try dropping a bomb. Yeah. Okay, there's some way to reach that. Get that second chest, but I don't know how to do it. So we're just not going to. We're just going to go down. Uh, but yeah, just people screaming at me for making mistakes. Mostly in Slay the Spire, some other games, and obviously there's some other stuff too. But so, 
I find self-deprecation is actually a decent way of, uh, I'm not gonna say getting out ahead of it, but, like, it does take the edge off when I know people are gonna yell at me for a mistake I made. Like, how could you fall into that pit? It's like, how could I fall into that pit, har har? Okay. Well, this... This is the royal suck. Well, I'm getting better at avoiding everything. I'm trying very hard to kill this fire guy, and I'm killing everything else first. Okay, he's dead. We are free. Suck a duck, spiders. I'm just gonna... Slowly try and ping down this footman. He's noticed me! He's actually called me a trespasser. Most of them don't even acknowledge my existence. Ah, it's a boner. It's a bad boner. Oop. Okay. We got chest? Yee, we got chest. Hey! Anti-spike boots. Oh no, float boots. Wait, does that mean? Aha! Aha! Ha ha! We still don't know how to get that. I'm assuming you might want to like bomb out every torch or something, but I don't know. Ow! I'm a bit peeved that these guys are not affected by the... by the spiky wheel of pain. Oh hey! I can actually go across there this time. Well! Looks like we're not fighting the boss this time around. We're going to do other things. Okay, so I could get rid of a curse. Uh, the food's not terribly expensive. I mean, slightly more expensive, but I'm gonna grab it anyway for the sake of survival. Let's see. We could do a penance. It would cost me a lot of health, though. To get rid of minor inflation, I'm not sure if I care. We'll see what else I can run into. Oh, boy. Normally, I wouldn't go for all the enemies first and I go for the imp, but the imp is by far just more of an inconvenience. Forces me to keep moving more than anything else. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just wanted to compliment your gaming skills. Yeah, no, I know. And I do actually really appreciate that. It is, it, I, I guess I'm more, <laughs> I guess the better way to fra phrase it is, it is actually very refreshing when people do compliment me on, on doing fairly well. And I'm like, hey, I'm not utter garbage at these games. Um, negative reinforcement is, ah! I'm getting better at those. I'm not, I don't trust treasure chests as much and it helps a lot. Uh, let's see, so where do we go? We have the potentially invisible treasure chest. We could go fight the boss, but I think I'm gonna actually bypass. What's on the other side of this? I'm assuming progress. Well, seeing as I got float boots, I have no reason why not to. So let's go down. I found a shortcut. Forbidden Halls. The Halls of Din. Ooh. Paul's map. Not recommended for use. Hoodie. Wait, why did I do that? I don't know. Ah, more bad boner. Ooh, I'm liking the music here. 
It's got that, like, eerie element to it that I really like. Like, I'm getting very big... Oh, shoot. I don't even know which game. If I stay right here... Oh, those guys' Crypt Lurkers got spooky. Okay. Anyway. Main goal here, obviously, come away with as much cash as possible. If I can... Oh, God, if I could get the sewing kit, I would be the happiest camper. Okay, so we've got a key, bunch of keys. We do have a holy water. Ah! That's a lot of wolf spiders. On the plus side, the wolf spiders don't seem to present more of an issue to me than most of the regular spiders. The only real difference is they go down in m more than one hit, which is kind of an annoyance. But a minor one, considering I'm I am just kiting like crazy. <laughs> That's a lot of spiders, though. Ow! Oh, they are getting me. I was sucking just a little too hard. And they do have poison. I guess it kind of makes sense. They do actually have, like... Wow. Two secrets in one room. When does that happen? Question. So floating does not... Uh, floating does not prevent you from uh, triggering spike traps. I feel like it should. At least those spike traps. Like, you should still take damage from the other spikes, but since you have no physical presence... I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. This, the music here is so good. It's, it's, this is, this is good listening. I might have to turn it up or something. Okay, did I, I left gold behind in a room. I guess I also left meat behind, so let's go for the meat. Yeah, one of the other reasons why I'm really looking forward to going to conventions like PAX is this is actually one of the uh, best opportunities for me to, like, meet the developers. <sighs> I was really hoping I could not eat that food. I guess I could have left it there, but I'm pretty sure the thorium would have just persisted. Okay, so the gargoyles are now just regular enemies. On the plus side, they don't heal. Also, boners are regular enemies. I'm curious, uh... I'm curious, actually, how many... No, 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 no. We know there's five bosses total, and I've only killed one of them. Wow, this game is long. Oh, I guess they do heal. I could have stopped him from healing, but, like, he's not really a threat to me right now. We, we get a free bomb, too. Seems like my best option for Crypt Lurkers is actually to stay way the heck away from them. Because they actually have a much shorter range than uh, than regular Lurkers. But it's impossible to tell exactly where their, uh, their spikes are going to come out of. See, so, so you skip the second boss with the float boots. Or this place is a secret area. I, sk <laughs> I skipped the second boss. Uh, I'd like to fight the second boss, but seeing as I had the float boots, I figured I had a higher chance of success. <sighs> that trick shot did not work. I mean, it kind of did, but I squandered it. It's fine. Uh, but I figured I had the highest chance of making it further without finding, fighting that, uh, that second boss. Which is 
I mean, should be obvious. Chance to... Chance on hit to chain lightning, which is exciting. Uh, but yeah, so, I mean, I'm already up to 5,000 gold, which is way more than I usually earn on a run. Admittedly, I'm... This is closer to peak Wanderbot than I, I usually am when I play this game. Because usually I've been playing this kind of late in the day. Uh, let's see. So I could do penance. We could do balance. Ah, uh, God, I don't even know. Because I'm going to be taking more damage here. I have some healing. I could increase my damage by a smidge, or... Uh, that ain't worth it. Yeah, hey, now you just need Ricochet. Ricochet is usually a pretty good option, yeah. Because I'm fine with minor inflation currently. I don't actually need to buy much. I'll probably buy the medium rare steak just for the extra health because it's worth a lot. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep... Well, at 114 HP, I could almost justify it. Let's do it. Just because having minor inflation hanging over my head is kind of annoying. Because uh, it makes me leery of picking up any other curses. Because then I have two curses to get through. And the more curses you have, the obviously harder it's going to be to get rid of them. Oh, that is the way down. Let's see. Halls 2. Obviously, this run's probably going to get skunked the moment we run into a boss. Oh, you can also just run over the guys to, to grab your bits. Oh, no. That minor inflation tooltip is permanent now. Well, that's awkward. I love the fact that the gargoyles straight up can't, uh... If I press enter... Okay, that gets rid of it. Good. Because <laughs> that was going to be annoying. Love how half of them just fell into the void. Okay, what do we got here? Another boner man! Come on, boner man. Leave me alone. Don't take me by the hand. I'm not... I want none of that business. Okay, now this is one of those that if I can set it on fire, I think I get something, but I don't have any fire. I got him good. You can't set me on fire. I'm floating over a pit. Being able to float over a pit is going to make differences happen. Ah. Yeah, I really feel like these float boots should not trigger uh, pressure plates and the like. Let me go for the spiders first. I think the gargoyle, gargoyle AI broke. They turned into statues and then they just kind of gave up. Well, I mean, works for me. Yeah, train physics works like divinity. It's so nice. I like, I, I deeply desire more games to have elemental combo systems like this in this game. Uh, well, this game, divinity and so on and so forth because both are obscenely fun. I'm gonna drop one bomb right there. Wow, that worked so perfectly, I'd almost say I planned it. I mean, I didn't expect it to work out that way. I was like, hey, maybe it'll hit the enemy, and the answer is, oh boy, did it! <laughs> Ow. Uh, I was trying to make it around the corner, it didn't work. Yeah, 
Yeah, Larian's making uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Yep. I'm still hoping they also work on a uh, Divinity Original Sin. Let's see. Are the floating bird boots permanent for runs or you have to unlock it? It's a random drop. This game plays like Isaac. You get random power-ups as you're just walking around. I'm fine with that, though. Okay, so this is the way down, but we got a lot of cashola just sitting in the walls. Okay, and let's not actually go down. Okay, so yeah, it turns out, turns out getting rid of that curse on the last floor was a good idea. Oh, the shop's over here. I'm gonna squander another bomb for my own peace of mind. Because otherwise I'm gonna take some damage here. So what, what can we buy? Seasoned popcorn. Food will sometimes dupe itself. Holy shit, that's good. Not really that interested on this run, but future runs, yes? Let's see, what system is Baldur's Gate 3 going to be based on? Still a D and d Nah, chances are it's going to be 5th edition. Let's see. I thought for a second I fl was about to fall into a pit. Let's see, did Wander play rad? I did. I It was okay. Huh. Can I? No. That sucks. Yeah, we need the better bomb. Yeah, 5th edition, correct. Yeah, I figured as much. 5th edition is nice and simple. And should be good. I still think 4th edition probably would have been the best basis for making a video game. If only because of those, those, uh, specific moves. But, I totally understand why. See, do we try going for a second chest here? Wait, there's a, there was a key box? Yeah, fourth edition was D&D &D, the MMO. And I'm I'm still totally baffled that they didn't go on like some kind of crazy game development like here here studios take our money please. Oh yeah, there is a keyhole here. Uh here studios take our money please make good games using our our products because like to me it would have been such a no-brainer and sadly they didn't oh well anyway thank you for that I totally missed the keyhole sometimes people telling me stuff is good sometimes it's just annoying it is it is hard to work with anyway But yeah, I'm hoping, even if they are going to be basing it off the 5th edition, they still end up with the, uh, the elemental combo effect system that they had in Divinity. Because, like, I'm fine with the mechanics, every other mechanic changing. Well, no, I think the AP system was pretty solid in Divinity as well. It'd be a shame to see that go. But at the same time, if they, well, they are making, uh, Divinity Fallen Heroes. Whatever. Oh. Okay, so this... This necromancer is a worry. On the plus side... I guess in retrospect, he's totally harmless. Apart from what he summons, he's the kind of character that... That I should go, like, uh... He's the kind of character I should go full ham. And, uh... And just beat the snot out of him personally. Instead of throwing things at him. Wow. That was a... That was a windfall. Okay, why are these guys red? Crimson Skeleton's concern... My assumption is Crimson Skeletons work much like the Skeletons in... Uh, which game? Yep. They do, you gotta break the skull, otherwise they come back. 
I guess the golden skeleton worked that way. Whoa. I don't like these guys. Okay. That whole teleportation business wouldn't be... Damn it! I got stuck on the rock! Uh, that's fine. We can afford quite a lot with that. That was a good run. It was just a bit bit of a... Well, it almost worked. Anyway, let's buy Echo Blast. It's been long enough. Salt Shaker would have been good. I almost probably should have gotten the Blessing thing, but this is fine. Okay. And I should be able to buy this, yeah? Perfect. Not a bad haul, so extra blessing choices. Uh, now I have the better bomb. Upgrade, which lets me blow up the, the bigger things. Should be okay. Uh, do we buy an extra bomb? Let's buy an extra bomb. And let's go down. Was that a one run? That was, wow. 